Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can control each individual relay on this 16 channel relay module using Arduino Uno. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link at the description, which is below the video. Now, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This is a 16 channel relay module that you can control independently 16 AC or DC load. And depending on your, on your region, if you're connecting or controlling AC load, it could be 2.2 kilowatt or 1.1 kilowatt of each uh, relay can control. And this is uh, uh, optically isolated, so your input from Arduino will be completely isolated. It has, it has separate uh, input, and this can be used to control different um, fan, heater, whatever application that you have. And I've written a code for this. So controlling of this will be very easy. Let me now explain the module. This is low trigger. It means that all these relays will be controlled if it receives low signal or zero volts at these pins. Uh, the pins are here labeled on this side. These two pins are five volts, which are coming from this voltage regulator. These pins from 1 to 16 or accordingly 1, 2, 3, 4 and so so these are all odd and these are even numbers and at the end we have two ground pin this ground pin must be connected to Arduino and you will provide external power supply the ground is on this side the positive is on this side because each relay at 5 volts will draw about 80 milliampere so this will be uh, a lot of current. Make sure that when you connect external power supply it can handle at least 1.5 ampere uh, for this uh, system. The device has this LM2596 3 ampere uh, converter. This is the module. Pin 2 is an output. Pin 1 is the input. Uh, this pin 1 is the input. Pin 2 is the output. This is the regulator. Eight of the relay will be driven by this chip and the other eight will be driven by this chip. And the chip is ULN2803. This is a Darlington transistor array uh, which can work up to 50 volts, 500 milliampere each of those. And as you can see here, we have input and output, eight input and eight outputs. They all have diodes to protect it against the uh, kickback voltage from the relay and this is the chip one two three four all of this is the input and that's the output and this is the ground this is the common as shown here and all the inputs of this eight inputs have been isolated from the input by these optocoupler uh, chips here the couplers here that are used is pc 817C, the C version, and here is the uh, chip, and here, here are the pin connections. So one and two for this, this one, so one and two are, this is the input and this side is the ground, and this is the output, as you can see the four and three. These are isolating it in case if the voltage that you are supplying for this has some interference or something so oscillation removes noise and also in terms of safety so that's a better um, practice and also the eight optocoupler are here for this chip so the relays have been labeled as contact one or k1 k1 k2 k3 4 5 up to 8 and then we have 9 here up to 16 and each relay will have their own uh, LED to show the status if it's on or off and the contacts of relay are three so this relay has three contacts here and these two are normally closed 
and if you want the relay to turn on and disconnect a load so you will connect it to normally close but usually you will have a normally open so you will connect two wires in here and here when this relay is energized the contact will establish and switch your load and this light will also turn on the length of module is 177 millimeter by 80 millimeter the height is 19 millimeter but this capacitor at the end is very long and the height is 22.4 millimeter because of this capacitor weight of the module is 216 grams when you are connecting a load into this relay pay attention to the current if you are connecting a DC load 28 or 30 volts uh, it's 10 ampere so the amount of uh, power just multiply 10, 10 times 30 it will be 300 watt if you're connecting at 30 volts and 280 volts watt if you're connecting it to a 28 volts but in the region in North America uh, 125 volts times 10 is uh, 1250 or 1 1.25 kilowatt load can be controlled with one relay, relay but if you're living in a region uh, with the 220 volts like Europe and Asia then you will have 220 volts or 240 multiplied by 10 so if it's 220 volts it will be 2200 watt or 2.2 kilowatt for per relay and if you overload this the contacts will melt and there is a hazard of fire so be careful not to overload this Now let me show you a problem with this module, with the voltage. There is a voltage regulator, I have connected it to external power supply and, and let's say the input voltage as you can see is 5 volts. So I am reading the input voltage, 5 volts on my multimeter and the voltage on the relay is of course the same. Now let me increase the voltage. Now it's around 8.72 volts. Regulated voltage is 5 volts, as you can see. So the common pen is on this side. The voltage from voltage regulator comes to this, and each relay is driven by this. So 8 of them by this, and eight of these 8 relay will be driven by this. Now if I check this, this chip is receiving 8.7 volts. So exact same voltage is coming here. And then this will supply the voltage to the relay. If I check the voltage across the two pin of the relay, you will see that we are reading 7.75 volts. The other relay is off and we are not reading any voltage. Only this one is on. The one that light is on. And also here, that's the voltage, including the resistor and diode 7.78 volts and that is concerning this is a very very bad design that allows the whole voltage to come here this should have been regulated voltage of 5 volts i will have a separate video fixing the issue on this module so that these relays will receive exactly 5 volts regardless of the input so you can connect even up to 40 volts at the input and you get 5 volts regulated uh, because the video will be very long i will create separate video uh, to resolve that issue the link will be provided for those in the description below. Let me explain the code now. This code works and this module can be used with Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega. Arduino Nano and uh, Mini will not have enough pens, so that this will not work. But even with Arduino Uno, we can use the trick that uh, analog pens can be used and defined as an digital output so that's why i've defined it from pin 2 to 12 and then i have left 13 and then from 8 0 to a4 and i call them a control pin with 16 element array this is an array that i define all the pins if you want to change it you're welcome but you have to have 16 elements here otherwise you will get an error if you have lower number of relays just if you have eight you can use the same code I just defined it here but you have to change some other values uh, this is a type of relay trigger if your relay uh, trigger is low like mine just type here low otherwise type high and 
uh, everything will be taken care of and this is the loop delay that when I was testing the module uh, with the loop and the state uh, this is used internally do not change it to change this this and any of this and the code will work inside the setup we run a for loop from for 16 times from 0 to 15 and here we define all the pens as an output and also we check we take care of the trigger this will just work and keep the relay off in both case initially then this is initializing the serial monitor with 9600 baud and that is the value that will be displayed here this number must match 9600 baud inside the loop this is just a loop for uh, to test the relay and I'm running for loop from 0 to 16 this is just uh, going and checking this i i become 0 to 16 0 1 2 3 up to 16 so we say channel y, y, that the channel and that's the temporary start initially it's off and then for 500 millisecond and then the delay um, after that I want also to wait for this many times beside this and here we check if the status is uh, the relay is on make it off if it's off make it on this is just for the loop I'm sure you will not need this and this is just for test of the module but the main code is here we print this once each loop runs and here if you want to control channel 6 and turn it on for two seconds this is how you do this six mean channel six and uh, this six mean channel seven really seven and one mean on and then two seconds and if you want to do channel seven let's turn it off for three seconds do it this way and the loop continues like that so this function that I've written control channel control is here below this and when you pass the 6, 0 and 3, this is the first parameter, second and third. So those arguments that you pass, so the first one become relay channel, the second one is the action, the last one is the time or t. And here we are taking care of all these values and we say if the trigger is low, do this and if the trigger is high. So this does self-explanatory because you will not need to change this in order for the relay to function whatever you want to do you you will do it here let me explain now the wiring I've connected these two pin to external 5 volts the positive is on this side VCC and the ground is there on these pins the last pin is ground as ground is connected with separate wire that you can see here I've connected it to the ground and the rest are from the VCC is left I, I do not touch it and uh, I don't need to touch that but if you want to power up your Arduino from this power that is a very good practice from 5 just take a wire and connect it to this uh, VN to the VN of uh, this Arduino and your Arduino will power up you don't have to connect this USB the rest of the pins are from pin 1 and 2, 3, 4 up to 16 I, I brought them accordingly here so the pin 1 on this module the channel 0 or channel 1 channel 1 is connected to 2 and accordingly up to pin 12 after pin 12 I have come here to this so after pin 12 this is A0, 1, 2 up to A4 Now let's see the demonstration of this that each channel will run and also we will see on the serial monitor that it prints the value currently the program is running but I have not connected it the power so I'm connecting the power and as you can see it goes on and then as it goes off also it prints it now the time that I have set is 
100 millisecond if I change it to 1000 millisecond you will see that it goes one by one now channel 10 is on 11 12 and it goes to 15 because it starts from zero now to control it further because this is the loop for testing all the relays so the for loop that i've written inside the main loop just comment uh, this uh, section and here just use this one if you for example if you want to control channel 6 turn it on for 2000 milliseconds just type it like that and after that then we say turn it off for three seconds so keep it off for three seconds and run it for mm, that amount of time now it shows the channel on and the time off for the time and the loop continues so this line shows the status of a channel and also it shows the time set the time and just leave it forever on just set this to zero and also if uh, let's say you want to control a channel based on some action temperature pressure some other value so you can set it like f and let's say you have the temperature uh, t celsius is bigger than 87 degrees and you want let's say the temperature increase and you want to turn on a heater you want to turn on channel 4 turn it on forever until you do some action thank you for watching this was how to use the 16 channel relay with arduino uno and arduino mega if you like this video please thumb up and also subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos